What is going on guys? It is Aqua's back bringing you some more Black Ops 3. Today we've got the Locust out. You guys know I say this every single sniping video. I don't know how I didn't hit that. That's just weird. Every time that I do a sniping video I always feel like I have to point out and I don't know why it, it actually gets kind of repetitive doing it but I you guys know that I'm not a good sniper, uh, but it's like, it's, I enjoy sniping in this game. It's legitimately fun. It's just really hard for me to do it. I'm, I don't know why, I don't know how, but it's just, uh, one of those things. And this was a really, really good gameplay. I got my first wraps using the sniper. That's how much I don't snipe, and that's how bad I am at sniping, is that I never get wraps. I barely can get a UAV, as pitiful as it sounds. Uh, I'm just really, really bad at sniping, so I can never. I always get hit markers, like uh, with every gun, virtually, like the yeah, except the SVG. But I'm not that good with the SVG anymore. So I was doing pretty good with the Locust, but today, like earlier this morning, I was doing good with the Locust. But I tried using it today, like during the day, trying to go for clips and stuff, and I just can't hit anything with it. I legit want to say that I probably choked at least 20 quad feeds today. Uh, I've had a couple of really cool clips, um, not going to spoil anything because they might become a video or a montage later in the future, but um, I've choked a lot of feeds today and it's very, very infuriating. Like, I've screamed so much today, guys. But, getting into the topic of today's video, I have the January 27th patch notes for Black Ops 3. Um, I know that a lot of things have actually changed. Uh, this is the weapon-wise patch notes, which is virtually the only thing that people care about. Um, Obviously nothing happened with the snipers, but a lot of things did happen with ARs, but more leaning towards the SMG side. A lot more happened leaning towards the SVG side. A lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, getting into the patch notes, the submachine gun portion, the CUDA has reduced 3-hit kill damage range and, and reduced 5-hit kill damage range. So it's basically, it's going to take more shots at range to get more kills. At least that's what I... Base, that's what I think it's basically saying. That's what I think. Don't quote me on that. I'm doing really bad on this. I just missed like six shots. Um, the VMP, they kind of, they kind of gave it a little bit of a nerf. Uh, not damage-wise, but they made it a little bit harder to use at range. They um, reduced the stability that it has for recoil, which means that the gun is just going to have a little bit more kick, so you're definitely going to want to be using grip on the VMP. If you didn't before, you're definitely going to want to now. Um, also, this is the thing that everybody's been waiting for in this video, and for probably just in general, and I, it's a pain to say it, but the Vesper has reduced, or not reduced, it has increased recoil stability. So that means that all that kicking and, like, looking up at the sky as soon as you press the trigger that the Vesper used to do is gone basically and it's actually quite kind of a bad thing but it's also a good thing it's good for public matches it's bad for competitive matches i know that personally that the the vesper is going to be a perma ban from now on everybody's going to ban it in gbs people it's going to be the probably the first thing that you see before mlg orlando and cod xp and, uh you know all this and uh, cod champs it's, the vesper is going to be banned i can almost guarantee it i saw a Vesper outgun a M8 across the map on fringe. Guy was sitting top grandmas with a Vesper. And this was actually in a Courage stream. If you guys don't know who Courage JD is, he's a CWL caster. He casts the pro matches for Call of Duty. He'll be at COD XP, he'll be at Orlando, he'll be at uh, COD, COD Champs. Uh, he's a pretty, he's like a big Hispanic dude. Just look out for him. He's pretty cool. Uh, you can watch his streams on t uh, Twitch, Courage JD. He streams wagers about every night with uh, Naga, uh, you know, Looney, a couple of other pro players. He screamed, but he's he's done wagers with Scumpy before as well. But uh, getting back in, so basically the Vesper is extremely OP once again, and I'm gonna do a video about that. Getting back into the patch notes, assault rifle. The Man of War has reduced reload speed. It's gonna take longer to reload it now. And it's going to take longer to aim down the sights because it has reduced ADS speed. So it's going to take longer to ADS. The black market section, the HG-40 has increased 3-hit kill damage range, so it's going to take less range to get 3-hit like to get th You can get 3-hit markers at range, and it'll most likely be a kill. So they basically just made that gun even more OP than it already is. 
if you can get past this low fire rate. The MX Grand, they increase the reload speed, they increase the recoil stability, and they increase the hip fire accuracy, so I guess if you wanted to run a laser on it, you could. And finally, with done with black market weapons, done with weapons in general for this patch note video, the FFAR or the FA or the the FA, uh, the, f the FFAR or the FAMAS or it's finally working, thank you. They've done a whole bunch of stuff to it that made it easier to use. They increased the recoil stability, they increased the hip fire accuracy, so, you know, laser sights if you really want it, and they increased the ADS speed, so it's gonna take a shorter amount of time to ADS. That's pretty much it for the weapons section of the patch note video. That's actually it for the patch, that's, that's it for um, weapons in the patch notes. I don't know if anything else changed. I don't know if they changed lighting or anything on any maps. Um, I don't know if they changed the way score streaks or specialists work. Uh, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I just looked up the weapons portion. Uh, the recording freezes here because it's the end of the game. Uh, I don't know why it froze at 98 kills, but this is a, uh, a Pharaoh like turn on kill that I got that I just wanted to share with you guys. I figured I'd put it at the end of the video. A little bit of lag here. I don't know if I've shared this yet or not. If I have, then I apologize. Hopefully I haven't. Um, the turn on is coming up here in a couple of seconds. So you just have to wait. But um, yeah, I'll just go ahead and do my outro. That's been it. That's the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this passion out video. Hopefully it all helped. And uh, get turned on. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.